Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Siege Barbarian for Bearing. It's a balance type Lego Beyblade, and it's pretty big in comparison to others. First off, we have the Chip Barbarian, which is pretty basic. It kind of looks like a mushroom, which is honestly what I was going for. There's not that much to say about it. But there is a lot to say about the Layer Base Siege, which has these two humongous contact points at the sides, and these smaller ones in between them, just because I wanted to fill in this gap. And overall, it's one of the heaviest ones so far. Next up, we have the 4-disc, which it's pretty basic, but I just thought it worked well with the Beyblade. And finally, we have the driver bearing, which is top tier in LEGO Beyblade. As you can see, it has a lot of surface area. It's kind of like a ball, and it just has really good life after death, and it moves around quite a bit. It's sort of like a hypersphere driver, really, but yeah, it's really good. And that completes the Beyblade Siege Barbarian for bearing. Let's do some test battles now. All right, first battle against Exo. All right, so you can definitely tell that this is overpowered. Or I guess not. Finally, it's not an insta-kill battle. Oh, contact. All right, looks like this bay has a lot of life after death. This is Blaze Taurus. Oh, oh, jeez. Yo, it ripped off one of the contact points. Man, this is an absolute tank. I don't know. Wait, hold on a second. I think that this guy's been... Stole its spin, but it was the opposite direction, so yeah, this guy won. Ah, oh, that was so cool, though. Final battle against Hydra. Ooh, that attack! Ah, oh, man. Yo, that hit. Pretty crazy. Jeez, it's so fast. Looks like it's gonna come down to life after death. What? Yo, Hydra actually won? I'm I'm very surprised. Guys, so that was my review on Siege Barbarian for Bearing. If you like this video. Comment, like, subscribe, do what you want, and I'll see you in the next video.